Hello friends, today we are going to see how to read a crochet chart. There are uh, three different reasons why we need to learn about crochet chart and symbols. The first one is just to read a crochet pattern chart. The second one is to read other patterns which are in different languages. The third one is to read some old crochet patterns which only have the crochet charts and also if the written instructions are not so clear for you to understand let's dive into crochet chart basics reading so this is like a short list of uh, uh, crochet uh, uh, symbols i use in my patterns the first one is a slip stitch as you can see the slip stitch is represented by a oval that is darkened and it is sometimes represented as S, yes, or sometimes as SLST for slip stitch. And the next one is chain. Chain is represented by an oval symbol and it is its abbreviation is CH. For a single crochet, usually represented by X or uh, multiplication mark in my patterns or sometimes you can also find it uh, being represented by using the plus symbol and the abbreviation is sing sc single crochet for this half double crochet we have a symbol just like t which has a, a vertical line and the horizontal bar half double crochet is abbreviated as hdc and for double crochet we have the t symbol just like half double crochet and a small bar across the vertical line so this particular uh, bar represents how many pull throughs are there in a particular crochet stitch so here if for the double crochet we have to do two pull throughs that's why we have two bars across the uh, particular uh, stitch symbol and if you see for triple crochet we have to do three pull throughs so here we have one two three three horizontal lines and the abbreviation is tc the next one is double triple crochet for the double triple crochet the symbol is this one and as i have already mentioned we have one two three four four horizontal bars that means you have to pull through four times and the abbreviation for double triple crochet is dtc and the main thing that we use in the patterns is the magic ring or magic circle uh, however you call it and this can be represented by this symbol a spiral or a circle or a circle with a japanese symbol this japanese symbol is wa and you can find it in most of the japanese patterns let me show you one japanese pattern the the book from the book lunar heavenly written by lunar heavenly lunar heavenly is one of the uh, famous uh, crochet artist who creates uh, hyper realistic flowers so let's open a book and uh, yeah let's see about this pattern so if you see this pattern you can see the magic ring is represented with a symbol japanese symbol alphabet wa so this is for your magic ring and here you can see how they have uh, used the chart uh, since i can't understand much of what has written here in japanese i usually just see the chart and uh, try to replicate the pattern to form different kinds of flowers so let's start reading this simple crochet flower pattern so the start of the pattern is mentioned here uh, actually it should be here uh, this is my handwritten pattern so this have a magic ring the spiral uh, represents a magic ring and then we are making a chain then five 
single crochets so the x marks represents a single crochet as we have seen earlier uh, here so the x marks represent single crochet so let's go back to our pattern and then we are doing two chains here represented a, as chain two and then we have done this stitch this is a symbol for double crochet we we are going to do three double crochets three dc and then again to finish the petal we have to do a chain two one two and then slip stitch in the same single crochet to finish of a particular flower we have to repeat the pattern the same petal pattern like a slip stitch chain two three dz chain two slip stitch in every single crochet we have done so so that we have five petals so once we finish the pattern we can fasten off and we we have a beautiful simple flower so this is how we read a simple pattern there are more complex patterns uh, especially when you do complex stitches uh, such as uh, a bobble stitch and uh, others once you learn the symbols for them or if you encounter some different uh, symbols in a, in a particular chart you can easily google them and uh, have a look at the results to find out what the particular symbol means and but it is always good to have a printable chart with you if you are an avid crocheter and even if you are a beginner it will be very helpful to read some crochet charts and you can find the crochet chart uh, in in our website www.neurocrochets.com i'll tag a link in the description box for you thank you for watching bye